So the day's done. Closed at 43.70.14. Um, VIX just shy of 18. We'll take a look at ES real quick right here. Looks like you know the upside test here at uh, right before close at an attempt to regain 43.95 uh, failed into the closing auction. Um, it's probably I, I would say there's probably not a lot of upside support on futures here um largely because of the big sell-offs that occurred after we fell below 4410 and then even you know accelerated below 4400 i would say that most of the long positioning on es is still kind of stuck in this range up here um i'll drag this over a little bit between like 4410 and 4430 um so unless we break back into those levels i don't think we're going to regain any upside momentum, right? Um, yields up for today across the steeper end of the of the curve there, um, with the three, six, and six, three, three months, six month, and two year largely selling off or bu buying in, and the five, ten, twenty, and thirty selling off. Um, Dixie ended up closing the day down just barely. Uh, kind of fluctuated all day between you know like positive. 10 bps and like negative 10 um japan uh the, the yen is down uh about 20 25 cents from its average today so there may be some some market operations being conducted by the boj in order to stabilize the currency price or speculators are driving the price of the yen up as they go long yen um, in anticipation of tonight's CPI data. Anything else? I mean, gold down, silver up. Uh, oil stabilized at 80 a barrel uh, for futures. Um, ES closing the day down 85 BPS. NQ down 118. Russell down 127. And Dow down 83. Uh, VIX futures are up 4.68% in the contracts in front. And Spot VIX is up 7 0.33 percent and now just after market back at 18 how's todd pretty f yeah todd todd's getting fired uh I, I i should probably add that we've slipped into the level where i expect short puts to begin capitulating um if they don't uh tomorrow um especially the ones that expire tomorrow uh, if they don't close out early, um, we may get somewhat of a bounce before they do. So we'll be watching that, you know, a return to that 4,400 level tomorrow. Um, if they do begin capitulating either in the overnight session or tomorrow morning, um, then, you know, we could see a, a drop lower, um, possibly to like the 4,325 or 4350 level we'll watch for that i mean they're underwater they're gonna have to close if they don't close at you know tonight or market open tomorrow they run the risk that prices can continue down and they compound their losses even more so yeah i would expect that we'll see maybe some kind of sell-off in es overnight possibly towards like the asian and european markets opening i don't think we're going to see too much price action uh between now and like 4 30 but <clears throat> thank you guys so much for tuning in <clears throat> i'll see you all bright and early tomorrow morning everybody have a great night later